Well, shooters and reloaders, and three circles passengers and members, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone Express up here in Washington State. And what you're looking at is two boxes of 303 British ammunition that I was able to get up here in Washington and uh, couldn't get this back home uh, either through the mail or at any store, but up here in Washington State, yes. Anyway, I was going to test these, but then, talking about testing, this test came up. Instead of testing this nice privy partisan ammo made in Serbia, this test came up. And that's because I was at a event that had about 1,200 people in it on Saturday, and then came down with some symptoms on Tuesday, got myself tested, and this is what the test looks like. So these home test kits are really good. You take this swab, and you go ahead and take samples in both nostrils. You only need to go up about three quarters of an inch, then the swab goes into this reagent, and then you drip the reagent on this card, and you wait 15 minutes, and then you read the results. So you drip three drops of the test sample here, and then 15 minutes later, you can read the results. Now, you get one line on the C, and nothing else, that's a negative test. But if you get anything at all on the T line, that's a positive test. What that means is the COVID-19 is present. The antigen from the virus particles is there, and this is a positive result. I'll give you a close-up of that. You see the two lines? That's a positive result. So apparently the symptoms of the current version of COVID causes kind of like mild flu-like symptoms, maybe like a heavy cold, this kind of thing. I would say that having had pneumonia in the past, that's very stressful because pneumonia hits in the lower lobes of the lungs, so it's really deep, whereas the COVID-19 variant that's now uh, happening hits the upper respiratory only, apparently. And the danger is for patients that have existing conditions or have some serious health issues already. And for, for that, you've got to be afraid of almost anything that could uh, be very bad for those kind of patients. But COVID-19 would be included in that. But for most healthy individuals, it's kind of like a light cold or a, or a heavy cold to a light flu. But because of concern for me, because I actually had pneumonia back in the early part of 2020, the Paxlovid was uh, recommended, uh, prescribed for me to use. And what this is is an antiviral, one of the newer type of antiviral treatments for COVID. And so I got this, and it's a five-day treatment where you take three pills twice a day for five days. And here's what the pills look like. These are hard, easy to take pills. There's the three of them. And you take three in the morning and three at night for five days. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these. Okay, so I took that, but then I'm still under quarantine because as you can see from the test that I just took, that I'm still positive for the virus. So. Quarantine it is, and that's putting a real crimp on making videos for you to see. But I'm doing well, not really feeling bad at all, moving around, reading books, but no uh, reloading or, or going out to the range, this kind of thing. Quarantine is the name of the game. Well, here's the shed. That's the insulation, and the sheetrock is going in. And
and from the other direction there's the scaffold it's coming along well shooters and reloaders and three circles passengers and members yes fortune cookies can get COVID and when we get COVID we're gonna be playing with big pills and little pills but the main thing is the COVID pills so Pax Lovid it is and we'll see you when I get over this thing bye for now